Here we have our no grout mosaic from You Can Do, our fish mosaic. And uh, this is the finished product, what you might get, something with lots of tiles and glitter. And this is what you're gonna get in your kit. You have a lovely assortment of different tesserae and tiles with buttons and one beautiful glitter eye. You also get a pot of teal paint, some glitter, and then you have all of the adhesive that you need to glue the tiles down. So this is gonna go on top of your fish after you paint it and you just kind of line up the fins as they're supposed to be and you place it on and that becomes your glue when you put it in the oven. Okay, so welcome to You Can Do's tutorial on how to uh, make a painted no grout mosaic. As you can see, we kind of got this project started. We already painted the edges and the back. So that's the first step you're gonna do is take your paintbrush paint all of the sides first. Being careful not to put on too much paint. You don't want any thick drips or um, coats. You wanna paint it nice and smooth. And now for this part, we're just gonna finish painting the front. So take your paint and apply a nice coat over the whole front of the fish. And if you got a little bit too much, maybe it drips down the side like this. Just make sure that you paint it smooth so it doesn't dry as a thick drip. When you're finished painting, you can hook up your hair dryer at home if you want to quicken the drying process. Good job, you've painted your fish and now you are ready to go blow it dry and place the film. So now you have your film and there's kind of a, a right way for this to go. So just kind of twist it until you know it's fitting the shape correctly. And you'll know when it's in the right shape because there should be a little bit of an edge going all the way around. Once you have your first piece of film set, you're gonna take your last three pieces and kind of figure out where they go. So this piece comes down to the bottom fin Kind of center that as best as you can. Get this big piece up here. It's totally fine if they overlap the previous piece. That's just a little bit of extra glue. And then you'll put the tail on, just like so. Now, you don't need any glue or anything to keep this in place. You just kind of want to carefully place your tiles down on top of it. But that's what you're going to do next. You're going to place your tiles wherever you want them to go. In your kit, you should receive a nice little assortment of different tiles and also a beautiful sparkly gem eye. So if you'd like, you can put the gem eye on first. Just place it wherever you want it to go. And then you can start placing your other tiles. You might notice that some of your tiles have groove it, grooves or marks on one side the flat side is the top, so keep that in mind while you're working. But if you decide you really like the grooves, you can put them up. It's all up to you. You wanna put your tiles close together but not touching. Okay, so at this point, you are finished laying out your tiles. You have the option of sprinkling this with glitter if you wish, but you're going to put this in the oven on a cookie sheet, um, probably a cookie sheet covering with covered with that uh, placemat that we gave you, and then you're going to cook that in your oven for 15 to 20 minutes at temperature 225 degrees. And after you take it out of the oven, you'll notice that Right now, the film's kind of matte. It's not very shiny. When you take it out of the oven, you'll know it's finished cooking if it's shinier and maybe has a few bubbles. And you can hit the hairdryer with those bubbles to kind of pop them, or you can use a toothpick to pop the bubbles. Either way, you'll want to let this cool completely, and then you can dust off the extra glitter or just tap it into the trash can. And then you are finished with your 
mosaic. Okay, so here's our fish. You can see that there are a few bubbles here and there, which you can just pop, pop with a toothpick. Or if you have a hairdryer, you can hit it with the hairdryer. Okay, then you're going to sprinkle your project with glitter. And just a fine little coat, it should be fine. Um, remember, you want this to cool completely before you try to wipe off the glitter. Otherwise, you'll drag the film adhesive glue across the tops of your tiles. Okay, so now you're gonna take your fish outside and uh, just light, hold it over a trash can. And if you have a brush at home, you can kind of brush it off or with a spoon, you can tap it. But I think a, a brush works really well. So let's get a quick little brush on the tops of the tiles. Turn it around, tap it again. And your, your fish is finished.